Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's gonna be the start of a new tutorial series on this YouTube page. Um, and this will be an introduction to Pygame. So if you're unfamiliar with Pygame, it is a module you can import into Python that has a lot of built-in functions for building games and other sort of um, computer-based uh, applications where you might want a user interface to operate kind of like a game. So let's get right into it. Um, first thing you're gonna do always is import Pygame. Uh, you have to call it out, it's not just built into Python. Um, if you don't have it installed as a module, you might need to run pip to install it. Um, I'm not going to cover how to do that here. There are plenty of tutorial series on how to in, um, install modules with pip. You can check those out. And then once you've imported it, the first thing you need to do with pygame is initialize it just by typing in pygame.init. Um, and then uh, next thing you'll always want to do kind of is define your screen um, where you're going to actually be playing. And so we'll do display dot set mode and we'll give it well this uh, now we're defining the overall uh, width and height of the screen. We'll go ahead and call it 600 by 600. That's going to give us a 600 by 600 um, game window. And I always like to do this. I just define some colors. Uh, everything inside of Pygame, when it asks for a color, it needs a color in RGB format with uh, three numbers, 0 to 255. And um, I always like to make a few uh, colors right at the beginning. Um, just so if you, if you want to call red, rather than have to type in 25500 every time you want something to be red, you can just type in red, but there's not a built-in um, color table, so we just go ahead and define those. And this way also, if you have stuff that's a specific shade of red or a specific shade of blue and you want to kind of tweak them, you can do that up here in the variable rather than doing it every time it appears. So I like to define some, define some colors right up front and then uh, this is something you'll always want to do in Python you create your game loop so you start with this variable I call it running um, people will say active anything it's it's just while running is true and this is actually just the same as uh, so while running is true and this is the same as just saying while running due to Python's shortcut with booleans. So I'm just gonna leave it as while running, but what we're basically saying is while running equals true, and now we're um, inside the game loop. So first thing you have to do so you don't get an infinite loop is for event in pygame.event.get. Um, first thing you have to do is check if someone quits event.type and equals to pygame.quit. Some of this syntax is specific to pygame, so um, you're just gonna kinda need code to reference it the first couple times, but eventually you'll just kinda remember what stuff is. Um, but what we're gonna say in here is if someone quits, which you'll see when the window pops up, that's just the X, um, it's, that's when you want running to equal false, so you exit the uh, you exit the game loop, and then we're gonna go ahead and actually create the screen, and we'll go ahead and screen dot fill, and um, let's make another variable, and we're saying the color of the background, so background equals you could make it black or white um, to kind of show why I like doing it with variables. Let's go ahead and call the background blue. And so we're saying fill the screen with the background. And let's put an object on the screen. Let's do pygame.draw.circle. And um, when you use pygame's built-in draw function, it starts asking for a few parameters. Python will give you the, uh, they'll give you the conditions. So it'll say um, surface for union. So we're saying we want to draw this onto the screen we defined. And then the second thing it asks for is a color. So let's go ahead and call it red. And then it asks for position on the screen. And so we'll put it about in the middle. Um, and that's for the center point of the circle. And then the next thing it asks for is radius. 
and everything after that is optional but like the next one would be a line width so if you don't want this to be a solid red circle you can define a line width of five and what we should see is just an outer diameter circle of radius 30 about in the middle of the screen drawn in color red and then the last thing we need to do since we used um, the pie game uh, set mode the display set mode up here to actually get everything drawn onto the screen you need to do display dot flip and this is actually going to push everything we drew to the front and put it on the screen and then at the end you just do your pie game dot quit and that's how you actually end the uh, end the loop so this is a pretty quick introduction to pie game but um, if we go ahead and run this we would be expecting a 600 by 600 screen with a blue background and a red circle drawn about in the middle so let's go ahead and run it and that's what we get so I mean nothing crazy we haven't made anything move yet um, you know but we have defined a window and we've drawn an object and uh, real quickly to kind of show you why I do this stuff with variables instead let's say if we want the circle to be green run it again well that took me about three seconds to change red to green and um, immediately you've kind of changed the look of your game so uh, it's just a handy reason to not just punch in I mean this is the exact same code as if you went and did 0 2 5 5 0 and fully defined an RGB value inside of these parameters but it's just be it's better to uh, use as many variables as possible so that's a brief introduction to pi game in the next couple episodes we'll be looking at more things like actually making the object move um, creating a user and making them move and creating an objective and a scoring system um, we'll really build a game from start to finish in this series so drop a comment if you have any questions about what you saw here or if there's anything specific you'd like to see going forward and uh, if you found this or any of the content on the channel useful I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe to the channel and as always good luck with your code and thanks for watching thanks bye